Hey guys, Ed here, and this is something I've been thinking about doing almost since I started posting videos on YouTube because I'm constantly asked, where do you go, how do you get so lucky, how many stores do you visit a week, and this is a way for me to answer. I wanted to do kind of a, a video diary of my video game hunting exploits, or whatever you want to call it. I don't actually know what I'm going to call this yet. I don't know if it's going to be a series, I don't know if it's going to be a single video, I don't even know if I'm going to end up posting this. Here you go. Let's see if I find anything in this trip. We're in Akron, Ohio, and I'm actually at a Goodwill. And the Goodwill has, if you can see it there, the Goodwill outlet attached. So this is kind of a twofer. Going to go in, see what I find, and share whatever I find or don't with you. Here we go. I'm going to hit the outlet store first, which is sort of attached to the side of the building here. You feel like you're walking down some kind of scary alley. But... Yeah, just a little door in the side of the building. No sign that says outlet except on the front. So the first probably 15 times I came here, I had no idea there was actually an outlet on the back. Now generally, if you're going to find something, it's either going to be in this case, which has nothing I'm interested in, or this case. PS2 for 20 bucks at the outlet store? Yeah, I think I'll pass. Or up here on this wall, a couple of Xbox sports games. Nope, nothing in there. We're going to actually go and check out the proper Goodwill out front. See if we find anything there. <sighs> Looks like some PSP games and movies. I don't know anything about PSP. Nope, nothing back here. Bunch of junk. And nothing it looks like here with the toys either. Oh well. On to the next time. This is one of the Goodwills in Cuyahoga Falls. I've actually found quite a bit of stuff here. Nothing recently. Actually, nothing within the last, God, year. It's been a long time. It's always tricky to record in that one because it's not busy when I come through. And there are always three or four people working in it. And they tend to congregate right up front where I would look for games. So, yeah. Didn't find anything in there anyway, so not a big deal not to record. On to the next few stops. There are two Goodwills and several other thrift stores in this particular town. I don't get to hit all of them. Oop, yeah, that would have been bad. Alright, this is the Cuyahoga Falls Exchange. I found lots of stuff in here, but not since that person turned me in. Well, I shouldn't say turned me in. Narked on me for buying Spider-Man Web of Fire for the 32X for 8 bucks. And ever since then, it's been much harder to find anything worth buying. Have this, the controller tree. Every once in a while you find something really cool on here. Price on Star Wars Arcade has really gone up to 12 bucks now. Used to be able to get it complete in box for five. Right, just finished up at the exchange in Cuyahoga Falls. Nothing new this week. I've got two more places to hit on the way out of Cuyahoga Falls. Sadly, I have to stop and actually do some work before I can get there. And then one place in Wadsworth before I head home for the day. And so far, nothing. Hopefully we find something 
in one of the next three stores. Otherwise, today is a complete bust. Ah, this is the other Cuyahoga Falls Goodwill. Uh, I don't believe I've ever found anything worthwhile here. Found a couple of laser discs. That was about it. Uh, no games. They're usually pretty good about picking them out of here. Hmm. Interesting. How you doing, man? Good. How are you? That's a big receiver. Yeah, it is. Are you looking for one? I don't know. Might be. All right, we got a fairly talkative employee in there, so it got cut a little bit short. But I did end up buying the receiver. The reason I got that is because it actually matches one of my laser disc players. It's got the wood grain sides. It's a Pioneer Elite, and it has the AC3 audio decoder built into it. So I don't have to worry about getting that separately now. Well, this is the Village Discount Outlet. $125 for a beat up old computer that may not work. We got in here a couple controllers and a four player adapter. Mm, want 50, oh no. That's with the PS2. So they wanted, wanted 65, now they want 55. And you can't see it back there, but that PS1, they want 30 bucks for it. Okay, hold on, I'm confused here. There's a PS1 with a memory card. They only want three bucks, but the one up there with two controllers, they want thirty bucks. How confusing! And you get a free game with this one. Weird. Look so far today, and I don't hold out much hope for this place. This is Wadsworth Goodwill, and I haven't found anything video game related here for quite some time. So keep your fingers crossed that this one works out. All right. Set DVDs, uh, Wii U, PS3, Xbox 360, and PS2 games. Nothing any good. No, well, missed 10th anniversary. And over here, a bunch of Xbox 360, PS2 sports games. A couple of PC games. PS1 sports games. Lots of them. Nothing. Videotapes. Nothing but audio CDs. DVDs. Hmm. Let's see what's in the back. Got a jug full of magic. Nothing but music CDs, music CDs, music CDs, lots of old TVs. Well, there you go. It was a complete bust. Found nothing in that store. And that pretty much makes today a complete bust in terms of video games. I did find that receiver back there, but that doesn't count. That's not what we were actually looking for today. So what was that? Two, three, four, five, six, seven stops. Uh, I did skip by four places that I could have stopped. I drove right by them, and that was just because I didn't have enough time today. Unfortunately, nothing this time. Will there be something in the next video? I don't know. Maybe. There you go. Let me know if you like this video. If you don't, I won't do any more. If you do, I might do some more. I don't know. It depends on how bad the editing is. You may never see this. Thanks for watching.